Rad pneumatic torque wrenches from New World Technologies are unique and powerful tools. They will help you perform any torquing job successfully. Understanding how these powerful tools work will help you to use them safely. Before you try out your rad tool, take a few minutes to read through all the instructions to become familiar with its features. They contain important information that could affect your safety. New World Technologies pneumatic torque wrenches use a patented torque multiplier technique using a planetary gearbox system. This unique system can produce torque ratios of up to 1400 to 1. The arm is designed to safely take up the very high counter-rotational forces that the rad gun produces as it reaches its final torque value. At final torque value, the motor safely stalls out, leaving the fastener tightened to specification. This demonstration shows the operational characteristics of rad torque guns. The socket will run the nut onto the thread until some resistance or torque develops and the socket stops turning. The barrel of the wrench and the reaction arm then starts to rotate in the opposite direction until the arm stops against the reaction surface. Unlike impact wrenches, the rad torque wrench never transmits working torque forces to the operator's hands. The torque is applied between the reaction surface and the nut being turned. You can easily rotate the barrel of the rad torque wrench to place the reaction arm in the desired position. The barrel is designed with a unique indexed ball system that allows the barrel and the reaction arm to maintain a set position. However, the operator can always rotate and position the handle even under full load. The regulator and tool holder is a key part of the rad torque wrench setup. When setting the rad torque wrench for the required torque, identify the correct pressure on the calibration chart and adjust the air regulator to suit. To achieve accurate torque, the torque wrench must be running while you set the pressure on the gauge. Note that while the torque wrench is stopped, the gauge displays a slightly higher pressure than what you had set with the tool running. This is normal. Proper torque will be delivered under working load. When installing reaction arms, it is very important to do it correctly. First, the arm extension should always be facing away from the tool. Installing it backwards may place the extensions too close to your hands and result in injury. With the reaction arm firmly seated, lock it to the barrel with the supplied retaining ring. Place a socket of the desired size on the square drive. Make sure you install the socket lock pin and set the O-ring to keep it in place. By understanding the action of reaction for your rad tool, you can avoid injury. When you manually apply torque to a fastener through a hand wrench or when using an ordinary impact wrench, the torque being applied is developed between the user, that's you, and the fastener being torqued. This puts great strain on the individual using the wrench. This also limits the amount of torque that can be applied. Your rad gun is equipped with a standard reaction arm that is designed to fit many of the bolting applications you will encounter. It may not be ideally suited for all applications. Here are some basic guidelines to assess safe operation of your application. Ensure the foot of the reaction arm aligns with the length of the nut. The tool should be at a 90 degree angle while operating correctly.
To prevent injury, keep hands clear from the reaction arm and barrel while the tool is running. When working under tight deadlines or in remote locations, you may be tempted to modify tools to accomplish a specific task. Modifying a rad torque wrench, its reaction arms, or its accessories can create a dangerous working situation. Arbitrarily altering the materials or mechanism can defeat the safety standards built into our product and will void the warranty.